and good afternoon. Yes, I think we're live. Yes. <laughs> Phone's been acting weird today. Um, welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion and guardian of the feminine, according to my clients. And I do these talks every day on Facebook Live, although they will be on YouTube later on, in case you're watching it there. That's where it came from. And I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. Today's topic is, um, well, today's number is number 380. So 20 more to get to 400. It will definitely be happening. And today's topic is um, actually inspired by an event I was at today and a couple of other things, talk with a client, etc. And it's basically the title is, Who Do You Serve? And Are You Not Being Selfish? And I want to I'm put that on its head so you'll understand in a minute what I mean. And you might go, hmm, hadn't thought of that. So let's dive in, shall we? Um, today I spent most of the day, as we got done about a couple of hours ago, at um, Agape's annual Sacred Service Saturday. Agape is my spiritual center in LA, and we do this event every year called Sacred Service Saturday. And today's the 25th anniversary, so it's pretty special. And we went out to 20 something events, um, serving the community, making a difference in different places, and really having a good time making a difference, helping other people. Now, I was actually a roving photographer, so I was serving a different way than they were. But also, what inspired this talk today is obviously about serving, making a difference, but also a conversation with a client this morning. and the sense that, and I speak about what I, I experienced with her, I'm going to keep, them, keep it confidential, I'm not saying who it is and stuff, but what she was talking about for me, the way I heard it, the way I heard it, was that she was unwilling to have a conversation um, with this guy she didn't want to see anymore, in fact wasn't seeing, but didn't want to get back together with. It's funny this actually relates to a conversation yesterday. Hmm, interesting how they came tying together. Anyway, she basically said that she didn't feel... Um, I don't think she would use the word selfish, but she said how she was afraid to have the conversation. Not, no, it's the wrong word either. Well, she, I'm trying to remember the word she used, but having this conversation to say to him no was challenging. And I interpreted it personally as not putting herself first. She was taking care of him, rather than taking care of herself. And service can feel like that. And that's why I want to spin this, because there's a um, presumption that you serve to give to somebody else and you don't get anything from it, although it should be true, or to be honest, service really is its own reward. So when you do give and you serve, you do get a lot back. But I'm not speaking about that in this context. What I'm speaking specifically about is how people, how I <laughs> used to, um, give more than I got and give more to try and get something without actually giving to myself. And the reason I'm talking about selfishness in this context is because a lot of people think being selfish is wrong. And also, if you, take, if you are selfish, then you become a narcissist and all this other stuff. And I want to give you a different, poss different um, possibility, different interpretation, a different exploration, as it were, which is this. What well, a double layer. First layer, which I talked about before, in fact, I did talk about this a couple of days ago. How a ground rule, ground rule that I learned in a seminar 30 plus years ago, which I'm still learning to apply in the right way, this, the, tie, the, the declaration of the ground rule, which is a way of living life, by the way, is take care of yourself first so you then take care of others. Now, lay it on top of service, and you start realizing that serving has to come from an overflow. It comes from a lack where you're not taking care of yourself first, you're going to burn out. And I've done that myself, I've proven that, wrong, that to be the case. So, taking care of yourself first is a very selfish act, but it makes you more able to help other people because you have more fullness to express from and give from, which is great. And in relationship, that's key. Because oftentimes in a relationship, you start to find yourself, you may find yourself, not you, but other people you know, you may find yourself coming from lack and not knowing how to be self-supportive to then come from your overflow. And an ideally healthy relationship between two equal partners is that both partners are um, taking care of yourselves individually, taking care of yourselves individually, and then we have to take care of each other from the overflow. That's healthy relationship, in a simple way of putting it. But the way I want to put this on, spin this on the head, which I didn't do yet, by the way, is this. In the context of the conversation with my client this morning, where, where, where she was talking about not being comfortable um, telling her this guy that she didn't want to be around him, and I think she said the way she put it and the way I'm hearing it, and again, it's my interpretation, 
is that she felt like she was being selfish to do that. And I had a hit after we got off the phone, and I want to give this to you because it might help you out, is that by not telling the truth to somebody to basically break the bad news to them that they can't be with you, is a highly um, selfish act. Like if you don't break the news to them, you don't let them off the hook, you don't free them to be with somebody else, you're being selfish. Because you're keeping them on the hook, you're keeping them in that, that circle of um, attachment to you, even though you don't want to be with them. So, being selfish is actually about letting them, well, hang on, let me put the other way around. Being selfish is actually not taking care of yourself this way, and not taking care of them either. To be selfless, in a way, which is actually one of the highest forms of selfishness, is going to play with this one, so you can understand what I mean. Being selfless means releasing them, letting them go, having them be free to do whatever they want to do, and that's wonderful. That sort of selflessness comes from an overflow we don't need anything. So it really comes from being selfish, as in self-supportive, self-caring, self-inspiring, um, self-approving, all these things that take care of yourself, to then take care of others. That's the way to be selfless. We have to be selfish first. That's selfish with a big S, by the way, because there's selfish with a small self, and selfish with which I would call the big self, the awakened self, the more conscious, the more spiritual, the more plugged in self. So for me, to put it in simple terms, if this makes sense, <laughs> is you have to be selfish first to be selfless later. And when you're giving service, you've got to take care of yourself first. Because as I've proven before, and I've said this before to you, I believe that if I'm not taking care of myself first, when I take care of other people, I'm draining an already empty tank, and there's nothing left, and I can't give anything. And there's also no way of filling myself back up either because I'm drained. So it's critical, it's fundamentally important that you put your self-care first, especially in relationship. Don't wait for the other person to take care of you. They may well do so, but if you become dependent upon that, they have control. Not only that, but if, they, if you're dependent upon them, if something happens to them, they get caught up and they have to go on a trip or they have to go to work, you feel let down because you're not being taken care of. Take care of yourself first so that they can take care of you afterwards. And take care of yourself first so you can take care of them afterwards. It's always starting with yourself. And even in a relationship, it's two individuals together in a relationship, not two merged beings. You've got to learn how to take care of yourself first. I think I made that point clear. <laughs> Simply put, I want to make it very simple because actually I'm dashing out again. It's been a crazy day today. I wanted to make sure you get this point about how selfishness starts with taking care of yourself first. And that means completing communication loops, open communication loops, where you have let somebody hang on for a long time and you will let them go. That's true self-support selfishness to let them go so they can be free to do what they want and then you can be self-centered, self-supportive and self-reliant. I know all these self terms, but I'm just making sense. I'm playing with these words in different ways to, press, to bust up the paradigm of what you thought selfishness might look like. Let's play with that for a while. Just seeing what else was in there, if there was anything, because that was a very, it was like, a, it was right on top, I'm going to say this, and now I've got it out, I'm like, is there anything else to go with this? Just to repeat a couple of things to drive this point home. In a relationship, self-support first before you self-support somebody else, then it's healthy, then it's recycled, then it's fulfilling, and then it's renewing. If you take care of somebody else first before you take care of yourself, none of that, it's draining it out. So definitely self-care first before you take care of somebody else. The selfishness in a relationship, or this, the way you do it in a negative way, selfishly, is to not let somebody else off the hook, not to tell them the truth, not to give them the cold hard facts so they can be free to move on to somebody else because you've let, they've kept them hanging on and they're not free that's not healthy so be willing to be selfishness sorry willing to be selfish enough to be selfless to help let them go that's a two big piece I want to give you so I'm repeating that so having said that um, homework always give homework and on this point, it's a very simple one, because it's obviously what I've been talking about, is how are you taking care of yourself? How are you serving yourself? And how are you able to serve yourself more effectively, more supportively, more lovingly? Wherever there's a gap in your self-care, that's, that's where you fill in, is self-care, self-support, self-love. Go do that, take care of yourself. That's your homework assignment for today. In fact, that's your homework assignment for life. 
but I wanted to give this t this teaching out quickly. It's, it's funny because the last two days I've done my, my Facebook lives have gone 20, 25 minutes, which is really quite amazing how they went that deep. Today's is like 10. <laughs> but it's the point. You got the point. I hope you got it. If you have questions, comments, please put them below. I'll, I'll answer them and sign off. If you're watching this on YouTube, same thing. Watch it there. You can comment afterwards as well. Um, if you want help in this area, if you're getting stuck, if you have a challenge in a relationship, my speciality, that's what I do, sign up for a discovery session. Grab this at one of my calendar. They're filling up pretty fast now after the summit I was on today. The, um, people are starting to sign up for discovery sessions, and you can grab one too. So you go to my website, free gift to me to you, 30 minute conversation. Go to barryselby.com, click on the Let's Chat on the left hand side, and sign up for the session there, put in the information, and grab a spot. Um, once you're on my website, you can browse all the other stuff, including the video blog where these videos live, as well as on my business page on Facebook, they live there as well, which is barryselby.author, and also on my YouTube channel if you're watching there, which is um, Barry Selby's the channel, and as you're from the masculine, the playlist. With that, I think you've got enough content to play with. Again, a question, if you have anybody you should sit, well, if you have anybody you think you should watch this, please share it with them. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts about this broadcast, please put them below. And if you're just joining, come back and watch from the beginning. I'm signing off. I'll see you later. Bye.